Ever wondered about that classic TV series from the late 70s? It's got a lot of interesting stories behind it. From funny moments to shocking revelations, it's a show that has it all. But did you know there's more to it than meets the eye? There are plenty of behind the scenes tidbits and lesser known facts that make it even more intriguing. If you've ever pondered about what went on behind the scenes of that iconic TV series, stick around. There's a lot you might not know, and it's all coming up next. Share your favorite moments or any memories you have of the show in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Exploring the TV series set in 1970s Los Angeles offers a unique glimpse into an era when newspapers held significant sway and reporters pursued stories with fervor. The show portrays a dynamic journalistic environment where characters navigate through various societal issues. Despite reflecting the prevailing liberal ethos of the time, it attempts to present different perspectives, including controversies surrounding law enforcement. The portrayal of newspapers as vital institutions adds depth, especially when considering the era's reliance on print media before the internet age. The ensemble cast and workplace dynamics contribute to the show's appeal, transcending its ideological leanings to offer a captivating portrayal of a transitional period in journalism. In one episode, footage of the Bunker Hill Urban Renewal Project was used, showing Lou, Rossi, and the animal inspecting a property where construction was about to begin. This series, a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, is one of only two dramas to originate from a comedy series in American television history, the other being Trapper John M.D. The producers intended to create a final episode about the paper going out of business and interviewed reporters from real newspapers that had closed for research. However, the show ended before this episode could be filmed. Robert Walden received three Emmy nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series in the late 1970s and early 1980s for his role in the show. Mistress Pinchon, the owner of the fictional Los Angeles Tribune, drew inspiration from real-life figures Catherine Graham and Dorothy Dolly Skiff. Edward Asner, increasingly vocal about liberal causes during the show's primetime run, faced speculation that his politics contributed to the decline in ratings and subsequent cancellation. In a series where collaboration was key, one actor's versatility truly shone. He portrayed the financial editor, making appearances from the second season onward, providing uncredited voiceovers for various media within the show. Interestingly, before joining this project, he and Linda Kelsey had worked together on a previous episode. This actor, known for his role as Lou Grant, achieved something remarkable in his career. He's one of the few who've won Emmy Awards in both drama and comedy categories for the same character. This achievement puts him in a league with Yuzo Aduba, celebrated for her portrayal in Orange is the New Black. His portrayal of Lou Grant garnered Emmy recognition across genres, showcasing his remarkable talent. Truly a testament to his skill and the timeless appeal of his character. In the TV series, several actors had notable roles. John Lormer notably appeared in the Mary Tyler Moore Show and all three of its spin-offs. Darl Anderson, recognized for his role as Dennis Animal Price, gained public attention. Edward Asner, Mason Adams, and Jack Bannon stood out, being the only actors to appear in all 114 episodes. This continuity helped solidify the series ensemble. During the show's run, reporters transitioned from typewriters to VDTS. The brand names on the computers were covered up. Edward Asner portrayed the character Lou Grant in four different series, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Rhoda, Lou Grant, and Roseanne. Nancy Marchand had a significant television career, appearing in Marty, winning Emmy Awards as Mistress Pinchon in Lou Grant, and concluding her career on The Sopranos. When CBS ended the run of the television series in 1982, NBC weighed the option of picking it up. Grant Tinker, NBC's chairman at the time, cited the show as a little tired, leading to the network's decision against its revival. In 1978, Darl Anderson faced backlash from the Professional Photographers Association of America, demanding his removal from the cast of Lou Grant. A sponsor boycott was threatened. However, within a year, News Photographer Magazine, affiliated with the National Press Photographers Association, featured Anderson on its cover, acknowledging that his portrayal had sparked increased interest in photojournalism among young audiences. During its Monday night slot on CBS, Lou Grant had a unique impact on journalism classes. Professors dismissed classes early, allowing both faculty and students to watch the latest episodes and engage in class discussions. Robert Walden, known for his role as star reporter Joe Rossi, contributed to the New York Post with news stories during his time on the show. Ed Asner, sharing his experience, found it challenging to adapt to the show initially being labeled as a comedy when it was actually a drama. 
He also noted the transition from shorter to longer episode formats. The fictional city of Newton, California, portrayed in the series, was the center of various scandals uncovered by the Los Angeles Tribune. Rebecca Balding faced an early exit from the series in mid-July 1977, having filmed only three episodes. Her portrayal of Carlo was deemed too mild-mannered, especially in contrast to Robert Walden's uncouth character, Rossi. Linda Kelsey, previously a contender for Carla's role, ended up auditioning for the position of the new series regular, Billy Newman, mistakenly thinking it was a one-off role. Edward Asner, a seasoned political activist, pointed fingers at CBS for canceling Lou Grant, attributing it to his outspoken disapproval of the United States' involvement in Central America. The show drew inspiration from the film All the President's Men, with Robert Walden appearing in both projects. Despite the challenges faced by the cast, including cast changes and political controversies, Lou Grant left a lasting impact on television. Edward Asner's role in a classic TV show is unforgettable. He played a character who started as a funny boss and became a serious editor. The show talked about big issues, showing how journalism changed. Asner's acting got a lot of praise for showing the character's growth. He made the character real and interesting, keeping viewers hooked. Even now, people remember and appreciate his work. It shows how good storytelling can make people think. Edward Asner's acting as this character left a big impression on TV. During its run from 1977 to 1982, the TV series Lou Grant faced a significant challenge when one of its main actors unexpectedly passed away during the fourth season. The sudden departure of the actress who portrayed Margaret Pinchon left a gap in the cast and posed difficulties for the creators of the show. The loss of the seasoned actress had a profound effect on how the show unfolded. The production team had to find a way to address her absence on screen while keeping the essence of the show intact. The writers managed to adapt the storyline with sensitivity, acknowledging the real-life tragedy with a respectful tone. Despite the hurdles, the show persisted, demonstrating resilience in the face of unexpected adversity. The way the creators handled the situation showcased their ability to adapt and maintain the show's narrative flow. Subsequent episodes paid tribute to the actress's contributions, highlighting the impact of her character on the series. Looking back, this incident reminds us of the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry and the determination required to keep a show running despite challenges. The handling of this situation remains a significant moment in the series' history, leaving a lasting impression on both the cast and the audience. Overall, the way the show addressed the loss of a key cast member serves as a poignant example of overcoming unexpected obstacles. It underscores the resilience and dedication of those involved in the production process.